Good afternoon. Thanks for coming. Uh, I'm Dave Kilmeyer, the Chief Marketing and Communications Officer for the University. Uh, we'll have uh, Chair Newlove say a few words and introduce Dr. Rogers, who will share some thoughts. And then for the media, we'll do uh, one-on-ones with you afterwards. Okay. Uh, with that, it's my pleasure to introduce the Chair of the Board of Trustees, Megan Newlove. Good afternoon and thank you for joining us today. I am very excited on behalf of the board to share with you that earlier this afternoon we voted to formally name Dr. Rodney Rogers as BGSU's 12th president. <laughs> Following Dr. Maisie's departure, the board began discussions about how to move the university forward and what BGSU needed in our next president. It quickly became clear to us the best leader for BGSU right now is already in place. Dr. Rogers has a long history serving most recently as Provost and Senior Vice President for Academic Affairs and prior to that as Dean of the College of Business. He's played a pivotal role in the university's recent success. Under his leadership, Academic Affairs, enrollment has risen, student retention has improved, and graduation rates are up. Plus, the students we recruit are the most academically prepared in the university's history. Dr. Rogers has also overseen the creation of critical new programs, launched our e-campus and honors college, and improved relations with our faculty. And he's been an effective fundraiser. He has a unique combination of talents, blending a grounding in the arts, experience in academia, and experience in the business world. Dr. Rogers worked for 10 years as a CPA prior to pursuing his PhD, and you might be surprised to know that his bachelor's degree is in music. Before joining BGSU, he served as Associate Dean and Director of Academic Programs within the School of Business at Portland State University in Oregon. He consulted with a variety of businesses and organizations, including Nike, Wendy's, Starwood Resorts, and Veterans Affairs Medical Centers. Dr. Rogers' presidency is also a first for the university, as he is the first president who is also an alumnus of BGSU, having his MBA from the university. We are confident that he will continue to build upon the positive momentum we're currently enjoying. Please join me in congratulating Dr. Rogers and welcoming him as the next president of Bowling Green State University. Thank you very much. Thank you, Chair Newlove, and to the other trustees that are with us today, I thank you very much for your confidence and your appointment uh, uh, in this position. I, it means a great deal to me. It's an honor to serve my alma mater. Um, before we get started, I've got a few comments, and then as uh, Dave mentioned, we'll have a chance to chat with the press. But uh, first, I, I want to thank uh, President Mary Ellen Maisie and her amazing leadership the momentum that this university has right now. Um, we are far stronger as an institution, and we will continue to work to move things forward. But I also want to thank a few folks that are with me today. And if they could join me here uh, at this moment. My wife, Sandy Earle, has been an amazing partner for 33 <laughs> plus years, right? <laughs> Got it, OK. Uh, and uh, and I have twin sons, and so I'm going to ask them both to join me. One made the right decision and came to Bowling Green State University. <laughs> and so Isaac Rogers, a sophomore here at BG, he tells me he had a class this afternoon. He did not skip class. He attended the full class and uh, is here. So Isaac and my other son, who is not attending Bowling Green State University, he's attending another university, but he wears more orange than I've ever seen. <laughs> so he is a huge Falcon fam, uh, fan, and so Spencer Rogers. So I thank both of them for being here today. Uh, it is a commitment of the entire family, obviously, in these roles, and we look forward to being uh, an important part of this community, without a doubt. So thank you for being here, and they're wonderful people. <laughs> yeah. thank you. 
So as I mentioned, you know, Bowling Green State University is a very strong position right now. Our vision is to be a nationally recognized learning community. That's our vision. It states that clearly. We've had that vision for many years, and great work has been done, certainly by President Maisie, but also presidents before her. And, and all of us are, are building upon the foundation that's been laid at this great university. So uh, the, the learning community, what, what do great learning communities have? They have great faculty. Today we recognize some terrific faculty here at Bowling Green. We have great staff that are engaged in the lives of our students. And we have engaged students. And I am just so proud of our students here at Bowling Green and all the ways in which they connect with each other, they learn from each other, they engage with the community, and they're making a real difference in our region and beyond. And we have an amazing, strong leadership team. I, I want to thank cabinet, the deans, the chairs and directors, the various uh, leaders across this university that are working together to make sure that we continue to evolve and make that premier learning community even stronger. And I also want to just make a, a couple final points. You know, Bowling Green State University, we are a public university. And public universities have a special obligation relative to perhaps our private, uni uh, private university counterparts. And specifically, that is public universities were created to serve the public interest and thus create public good. And the public interest, serving the public interest, how do we do that? Well, we've got to make sure we've got academic programs that are relevant, that are focused on today's societal issues. And that's why right now BG's on such a great uh, role, if you will, and a great progress with creating software engineering, mechatronics, robotics, for example, the forensic science, the data science programs, and the list can go on and on. In all of those sorts of new academic programs, which has really dry, driven the enrollment growth here at the institution, it's been because a focus on serving the public interest. So we have to make sure we continue to serve the public interest. And two, it's uh, academic programs, yes, but it's also our research agenda. We are a comprehensive research university. We also recognize several uh, faculty today that are doing amazing research that are certainly informing societal working with issues, identifying ways in which we can solve issues from Great Lakes water issues to the opioid uh, epidemic that we have in this region and beyond, and other sorts of ways in which our faculty and students, graduate students and undergraduate students, are working together on societal issues. That is what a public university should do, and we are proud at Bowling Green State University that we're certainly leading that. And third, a public university needs to always be thinking about how do we best keep the cost of education as low as possible so students from whatever background and whatever means they may have, they are able to get that college degree whether it be an undergrad or grad. And so we're working very hard, and we certainly appreciate all the great work that has been done to make sure that we're doing our part to hold tuition as low as possible and that we are as efficient and effective as possible so students coming through Bowling Green have a great value. And we've got all kinds of rec uh, national recognitions to prove that. But that is so, so very important. So public universities focusing on the public interest which creates that public good. I am certainly proud of what BGSU has absolutely accomplished and how we have served our students. But I am also equally confident um, about the amazing ways in which we can continue the success at Bowling Green and take our university to even higher levels of success. We're an amazing university. I am proud to be a part of it. I look forward to working with our faculty, our staff, our academic leaders, and our students in continuing to evolve this university. And as we uh, often say, it's a place where you belong, where students can stand out, and we prepare them to go far, because Bowling Green State University truly changes lives for the world. Again. I thank you. I thank the trustees for giving me this opportunity. Thank you. Thank you all for coming. Uh, members of the media, if you want to see me, we'll, we'll set up one-on-ones. Thank you.